بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد Mr President they want me to speak how can i speak you here i want to hear from you why am i going to speak maybe 3 minutes Max, everybody, every year, every conference, we talk about unity of the Muslims. Muslims are going to unite. Unity of the Muslims. Everybody agree to that. But we need something more than that. We have to define unity. Everybody have a different idea of what unity is. إِنَّ هَذِهِ أُمَّتَكُمْ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا وَأَنَا رَبُّكُمْ فَاعْبُدُونَ I want you to look at me. I have many identities. One of them, أَنَا أَسْوَدْ. You know what that means? أَنَا أَسْوَدْ. And you know what? I love being black. I, I, I cannot wait to wake up every morning black. Ask me why. Because Allah said, It is Allah who created you in the womb as he pleased. If Allah pleased to make me a black man, I'm happy to be a black man. This, this is one ummah. Ana, ana amrikiyun. I'm American. I'm born in this country. Ana afrikiyun. I'm African. But more than that, I'm a Muslim. Because in the end, in the end, there will not be one black person in Jannah because they're black. There will not be one white person in hell because they're white. It's according to the deeds and Allah's mercy on us. So three things I like to, to add about this, this elusive, uh, vague, nebulous unity. Number one, we need centralized leadership. That's the key. And I have a feeling that the leadership is coming from Turkey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All you got to do, all you have to do, all you have to do is look and see what they have done. What our president have done. Not talk, but what he has done. When the prophet died, peace and blessing be upon him. The question is, who was going to be the leader? So the Ansar said, Minna amirun wa minkum amirun. A leader for you and a leader for... No, no, no. One leader. Number two. We have to make sure, as our president said at lunch, making sure because we are human beings and we need help. I want to tell you something, Mr. President, as I leave. In this country, we have baseball teams. We have 30 baseball teams, 750 players. And every team, every player wears a number on their back so that you can recognize who they are. April 15th of this year, every player on every team wore the same number. They wore the number 42. And do you know why they wore the number 42? It was to honor a black man named Jesse, uh, uh, Robinson, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson was the first African American player to play baseball, and they honored him. What I'm saying to you is that you will win. You will win if you fight back. Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King was right. He said, The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. Justice will prevail. It's a matter of time. I promise you, 
the brothers and sisters in Palestine will be liberated. The Muslims, the Rohingya, the Muslims in China, the Muslims all over the world, I promise you, if you fight back, you will see. And finally, help ye one another in righteousness and the fear of Allah. Let's help one another. You have proven yourself, Mr. President. We love you. We love you here in New York. You can stay here as long as you want. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum.